So let's compare the Apple's iPhone 6 with HTC One. HTC One is one of the Android phones that has been made for elegance, for looks, for good quality of its uh, aluminum uh, cover, uh, aluminum outside, and the front is picking the speakers. It's uh, optics of its camera and so on and so forth so let's see how HTC one compares with the iPhone 6 starting with the screen size so the HTC one has is slightly bigger at 5 inch and Apple is catching up in the size of Android phone with its iPhone 6 a size of 4.7 inch so HTC One is still slightly bigger, but if you want even bigger uh, phones, uh, Apple has an option of uh, iPhone 6 Plus at 5.5 inch. On the HTC One, when compared with iPhone 6, it still has better resolution. And if you want to match the resolution, it's 1920 by 1080 for iPhone 6. Now, for if you are looking at the phones casually, just for phone, if you most of you use this for phones and so on and so forth and voice, the casually looking at the phones, you won't find any difference in using the resolution. But if you if you use the phone more for looking at the pictures, fine prints, and such things, then the resolution makes a slight difference in its looks. Now, in terms of camera, the HTC One has um, eight megapixel camera. It, HTC One has four megapixel camera, and iPhone Six has more eight megapixel camera. But the megapixel is not the only story. HTC One, HTC has done a lot of work in improving the optics of its camera. And that's why, even with the 4 megapixel, we expect that it will have a fairly good picture quality. Both phones allow you to record video in slow mo, and in that case, iPhone 6 probably has moved better because it's the earlier adapter of the slow mo and higher. The, the newer iPhone 6 actually allows you to record the video at 240 frames per second, which is much better. One thing that the two camera, the two phones differ is in front-facing camera, and HTC One has five megapixel front-facing camera, and it, it's better, but its practical use may be limited. You don't use a very high-resolution front-facing camera as well. In terms of operating system, it's old iOS versus Android story. iOS is of course smoother. It has better user interface, it's easy to use, it's intuitive. Android, also a good operating system, it's interoperable between different systems. It has a little bit of learning curve, it's not as, uh, but it, it has its own good users, for example, using Google Voice and other features. Android is also a pretty good, so it's a, based upon your personal choice and given my opinion, I would prefer for a phone for simplicity and user. I would prefer iOS. But again, Android has its own good things. For example, drag and drop, drop of photos, pictures, videos, and MP3 music from any computer to the phone. One thing that these two differ is in, and that's worth, worth noting, is the micro SD card slot in HTC One. You can expand the storage by just inserting a micro SD card in the provider slot. With iPhone 6, you are stuck with 16 GB if you have purchased one. You cannot expand its storage. And if you think you need a big storage, you have to pre plan it and shell out $100 extra for a 64 GB model. In terms of battery life, HTC is, has done a good job in improving the battery life it has a bigger battery but we but iphone 6 also improved in terms of processor performance processor efficiency actually and we expect the similar performance of battery life 
even iPhone 6 has a smaller battery. The processor, both of them are excellent processor. Apple Ace 8 processor is 25% faster than its previous A7 processor and is 50% faster than its in GPU compared to previous Apple A7. The HTC One comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 800, which is a quad core 2.5 GHz mega 2.5 GHz processor, which is pretty fast. And to be frank, the processors are more than enough for the type of the jobs we do at a, at a in, in a smartphone. iPhone comes with 1 GB RAM, but HTC One has 2 GB RAM. But iPhone has the advantage of having a dedicated software operating system, everything in its control. So it's able to do the same thing with a smaller amount of RAM. There are few things in HTC One and that you would like to notice. One thing is that HTC One comes with a front facing speakers, which could be good if you are uh, if you are using it to uh, watch movies with a good speaker quality. And also HTC One has a motion launch, so you don't have to swipe when you are when you are just uh, shaking it to turn it on. In terms of pricing, both of them are priced identical at $649. And given my preference, I would prefer iPhone 6. But HTC One again, I said it's a good phone, but it's launched earlier in March 2014 and I'm reviewing it at on, in September 13th. iPhone 6 is still not available. and. Probably at this point of time, iPhone 6 would be a better choice. But if you are really looking for a price, I would and an Android phone for a cheaper Android phone, I would say that you should also explore Nexus 5, which is at $349. You do save some money and you get potentially all the functionality that comes with a smartphone.